Twitch. Hello, the people of the interweb. Uh, I am starting on the fabrication of the infinity mirror for uh, for this guy. The infinity mirror is going to be going in, and it's going to act as a, a multicolored iris uh, for the one-eyed robot cyclops thing. So what I've done is I got one of those little, you know, ladies compacts from uh, uh, from Walmart. It's pretty cool. Just this little mirror thing here, and. Uh, came as like two halves so one mirror is is flat and the other mirror is uh, sort of concave so you can actually uh, it magnifies a little bit but if you silver the other side of the mirror um, it makes things look further than they than they actually are uh, which is what I want for the tunnel effect because I want I want the LEDs or the lights that I put on the edge of the infinity mirror uh, to sort of converge to a single point instead of sort of going off straight into a uh, infinity. So what I did was I scraped or I buffed all of the uh, the silver off the mirror, uh, the concave mirror, and I got some of this really cool and way too expensive uh, mirror finish for uh, sort of giving your car mirror tints or you know your house or whatever. So I cut off a little square of that and I installed it onto the mirror so if you look really closely you can see me in there. See? Can you see my hand behind there? Which is pretty cool. So I put that on the convex side of the mirror, and that's going to be facing the infinity mirror, like so, the other mirror part. And then when I install lights, oh, you can't even see anything there. When I install lights inside it, it'll uh, make this crazy uh, tunnel effect. What I'm going to do is I've created a little clay mold. This is just uh, sculptor's clay, like oil-based sculptor's clay, not sulfur-based because I'm going to be using resins and stuff and uh, and the sulfur reacts badly with the resins and won't, won't allow it to set. So I'm using model builder's clay, oil-based, like mineral oil, and uh, I'm going to create a plaster cast of this and then pour resin into that, like remove the clay, pour resin into that, and then I should have a nice positive mold of this in nice black resin. I'm just using the same kind of two-part epoxy that I've been using all along for all my projects. Uh, Sculptor's Supply Canada is a store that's actually close to my uh, my house, and they have a whole bunch of really nice uh, sort of sculpture su supplies. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I'll start mixing up my plaster, and let's see how this thing turns out.